हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल शिवाजी शिंदे फ्रॉम जूनियर कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन दिंदोरी आई हैव बीन टीचिंग इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट सिंस 24 इयर्स आई हैव टॉट एस फोर एज वेल एज एस सिक्स एंड एफ फोर एज वेल एज एफ सिक्स हैविंग a long experience of teaching english it make me confident to guide something about this subject to the students friends as far as the exams are considered i have collected all the question papers read all the question papers very carefully thoroughly try to understand which questions are important and which questions are not important as far as my knowledge is concerned it's a simple assumption that some questions are repeatedly asked and i thought that if i take all these questions together it would be a beneficial for the students who are going to face dlad exams coming very soon friends the repeated questions which i thought one of them is inductive grammar and deductive grammar as far as the last question papers are concerned the questions such as what is inductive grammar what are the merits of inductive grammar how inductive grammar is useful to teach any grammatical items explain in detail and the last question was compare inductive grammar with deductive grammar so considering all these points just we will think about how what is inductive grammar and what would be the process while teaching any grammatical item friends inductive grammar method is one method which is used for teaching grammar we know that in english there are 275 structures 275 patterns are there so consider each and every pattern and try to apply informal so inductive grammar for teaching this particular item so for an example i have taken the example of active and passive voice this is one teaching item grammar teaching item which can be taught with the help of inductive grammar method so before taking the example let me tell you one thing that when inductive grammar is that inductive proceeds from example to rules examples are taken into consideration with the help of example with the help of practicing example the students confirm the rule students form the rules let's take the example how inductive grammar can be applied while teaching active into passive voice so i have written one example here ram plays cricket and the second example is radha sings a song how teacher applied in inductive grammar at first teacher write the question as well as the answer so the first example ram plays cricket the example is in active voice answer is also given 
the passive voice is also given that cricket is played by ram the same thing happened in case of radha sings a song the passive voice is a song is sung by radha in this way teacher writes many examples with the answers on the blackboard and asks students to observe it very carefully after having the observation very thoroughly students come to know some generalization what happened in first and second sentence what would be the rule and regulation of transforming active into passive voice they identify themselves without taking help of his or her teacher so after getting thoroughly observation keenly observation they come to know that how the rules can be performed so they look at each sentence very carefully just take one example radha sings a song radha is subject here sing is verb here and a song is object here passive voice is also given that so they try to understand what is taken at the first so they see a song which is object in the active voice it is taken at the first so the first rule comes object comes first in passive voice second they think that that is a to be as far as the tense is concerned use the appropriate to be after object so the sentence is in a present tense simple present tense and that's why is is used that they try to understand again they come to the third word that is a sing and in passive voice it changes into sung sung is the past participle of the verb sing so after to be that is the past participle and last word use the by and attach the subject there so this is how active changes into passive students observe all these things and then they confirm the rules the second to be is used that as we are also writing the rules here and the last one second last one use the past participle of main verb and the last one use by with subject so this is the background of inductive method in short teacher write question with answer many sentences on the blackboard ask students to observe it very carefully and after observing they have to write the rules of active into passive voice so it tells inductive method tells that while teaching any grammatical item you can use inductive method which is called the modern method as well as the natural method now as far as the questions are concerned in the exam just we will think about how one can write the answer of the questions which are used which are asked in exam papers now we will think this is the background with the help of background we will say something about it at first it is said that the examples are very important here teacher writes many examples of the blackboard with the answers and the students observe it so the first step is 
examples are important that second thing there should be the practice there should be the observation of all these sentences which are written how active changes into passive whether the same format is applied in the second sentence in the third sentence and all the remaining sentence after considering all these examples they have to confirm that this is the rule of changing active into passive so observation as well as the practice of sentences are very important that okay third thing we will consider that rules are formed after having the examples example lead the students to form the rules so inductive grammar is useful for the students when they observe it very carefully next inductive method is a time consuming method you know the time consuming it takes too much time to understand to learn the particular language item how it is just try to understand as i told you that changing active into passive teacher has to write many sentences teacher has to write many answers of each and every question on the blackboard and they have to understand what the format is there what kind of rules are used there after consideration of all the examples they have to confirm that these are the things which happen when changing in active into passive things unless and until they write the examples correctly teacher writes teacher gives many examples to them teacher cannot guide them that these are the rules and you have to apply these rules while changing active into passive instead of that teacher writes many examples on the blackboard with the exam with the answers ask students to observe it very carefully the second stage comes there again teacher writes only the questions on the blackboard without answer and ask students to trans to transfer active into passive voice if the students are right it's okay if not again the teacher gives drilling of another questions of the same format unless and until they are right so friends this takes too much time so inductive method really a time consuming method so as far as the classes are concerned that it is said that inductive method is very useful only for the pre primary school only for the lower classes because we know that child learns as a trial and error basis they don't apply the rules and regulations just they go on doing the same thing again and again unless they are right so lower classes is important that when we can teach through inductive grammar teaching method so useful only the lower classes inductive method is called the psychological method of teaching grammar psychology consider each and every point the same thing happen in case of inductive grammar because inductive grammar always think about 
the child who is going to learn so psycho there is a psychological bias while teaching inductive method this method is also called the natural and modern method of teaching grammar we are talking about only the grammar teaching items using the inductive method so nowadays as i told you that there are two methods of teaching grammar one is inductive method and second is deductive method but inductive method is called the modern method the reasons are that because it is a psychologically based method it's a natural way of learning grammar so modern method as well as the natural method of teaching grammar this method is called the child centered method child is taken into consideration the liking and disliking of child is taken into consideration the same thing happen in case of inductive grammar and so child it is called the child centered method one more thing that i would like to tell you that teaching through inductive method requires a skillful teacher teacher should have a skill of language he should have the competent he should have the competence normal teacher cannot handle or cannot teach using inductive grammar the reason is that the teacher should be trained teacher should have a skill of teaching language as far as the ways of grammar are concerned i would say that functional grammar can be taught using inductive grammar this is the main merit of this inductive grammar that inductive grammar is useful for teaching functional grammar one more thing that it should be considered that that informal teaching grammar always focusing the accuracy of language sorry not accuracy fluency of language fluency requires one should speak continuously without stopping it happens in case of inductive grammar it is also called inductive grammar is also called a skill based method of teaching it is also called the skill oriented method skill integrated method of teaching exercises and questions lead to form the rules when we apply inductive grammar exercises are very important and questions are very important here exercises and questions lead the students to make the rules confirm the rules language is first in inductive grammar and then comes the grammar it means language first grammar second so these are some important things as far as inductive grammar is concerned so friends i request you i suggest you that if you like this definitely subscribe my channel give likes to it share it to your friends 